and welcome to Wheatzer's Woodshop. My name's Ted. We're going to make some things. try something different here. So I'm going to do a voiceover. This project was a request from somebody at work. Um, so I got a nice piece of cedar and a bunch of pieces of black iron pipe and had some laying around and had some I had to buy so and eventually we will put this all together so hopefully you can guess what we're trying to make here. But uh, they asked if I could do it, and I said yes. So let's uh, give it a sh give it a shot. First thing I had to do was true up that uh, piece of cedar. So this is my homemade uh, jig I made for the table saw. Just some Harbor Freight clamps. Just make sure you watch. I had a knot right there, so make sure it clamps in there really tight. And then uh, just run it up against the fence, and then true up one of the sides. It's as easy as that. And put that true side up against the the fence and cut away of course get it to the height you need it and uh, let's see I think cedar's pretty soft so it was a pretty easy cut but right towards the end here I don't know what I was thinking or what I was doing but I drifted a little bit so off camera I just uh, lined it back up and put it back together and it came out pretty good anyway so then I just used a miter gauge and got the sides cut down and trued up and then I uh, did that to length, had to switch to the other groove, moved the miter over, wasn't sure if I was going to keep that knot so I ended up keeping it and ended up liking it quite a bit. So. That came out to the, my advantage. All right, check the measurements really quick. That looks good, that looks good. Thumbs up, all right, oh great. Sanding, my favorite thing, said no one ever. <laughs> Fortunately enough, the cedar's soft, so it, the finish came out pretty nice. Once I got it knocked down, and this is my favorite part. We got that hand plane. I used a number four smoothing plane. Once I got it all set up and the blade out, that buddy is, uh, or that puppy's super sharp. So didn't like the setup here. That bottom was a little unstable because it's round. So learned something from uh, Paul Sellers. You can see the orange tip, that's a bar clamp. So I clamped it in there, and then I just clamped the whole thing in my wood vise. And you can see how stable that is. It's plenty strong enough, especially for cedar. Just get those shavings coming out of there really smooth. No dust, no noise. Just good stuff. And you'll see in a minute, I wanted that finish, or that surface, you know, almost perfect. So there's a method to the madness here. I should have dubbed in some sound for that. That's kind of pleasing. <laughs> All right. Next, I just drew some circles. I had uh, what what I'm putting in there. I just used as a template. So, and then by hand, I just routed that whole s section out. And then uh, once that was done which came out pretty good, I just for doing it by hand. Then I just uh, corner round, or rounded the, with a quarter round bit. Just got the edges again, super smooth. And this worked out really good, just used a drum sander and uh, got those sides uh, to the perfect size that it needed to be for the what was being inserted into this. 
And, uh, but of course, it just made a ton of dust, but it worked out really good. Now I just needed to do four holes. I just used the spade bit, found out halfway through, this thing's pretty dull. So there's your smoke. So wh whatever you have, hole saw, spade bit, big drill bit, anything works. And here's your results. <laughs> what a mess. Found this old uh, paper roll holder at an estate sale, so I've been using it like crazy. So love that little thing. So the pipe I just used the uh, super clean, and uh, they they're pretty dirty. So once you get all the grease and stuff off, because I'm gonna I prepped it all for paint, which I did off camera. Uh, that's a pretty boring process. But I used a hammerite, a black hammerite, super strong really good finish so and kind of antique looking so we'll see what that looks like in a second good stuff and there's the base so what I'm using this for requires a food grade or food safe oil so I had some of this Wisconsin hardwood oil and uh, man this works really good made that cedar pop pretty nice um, you can see it soak in pretty fast because the cedar is so porous so which is a good indicator because you just go back over where it's soaked in and two coats should be plenty and you can apply it whenever you want and i think we get yep it came out really nice really made that grain pop and there you have it so once I put all it together and had those flanges and stuff, that's going to go up against the wall. And those dog dishes, now you know what I'm making. That's what holds it. So you just secure it up against the wall. So there's the finished product. There they are installing it. Uh, they decided not to go there, so they went to the other side away from that plug. Secured it up really nice looks really nice it's on their kitchen island and there's Clark their new puppy and from the looks of it looks like he loved it all right thanks for watching